day little friends and story time parents welcome to another story time session with your friend Lisa your library tech Miss Tiffany at your MWR community library today I picked some of my favorite stories to share with you so let's begin so the books for today we are going to learn all about roots rocks and the water cycle okay so let's start off with our first book and our first book is called a rock can be by Laura Salas. And look, look what we have on the front. Friends, what is this? This is something that we see here all the time. It's a crab. Okay, here we go. Let's begin. A rock is a rock. It's sand, pebble, stone. Each rock tells a story, a tale, all its own. A rock can be a tall mountain, park, fountain, dinosaur, bone, stepping stone, volcano, flower, night, glower, lake, skimmer, building trimmer hopscotch marker fire sparker a rock is a rock our earth in your hand our world's full of rocks some simple some grand a rock can be a seaside home Crusty Dome, Desert Dune, Harvest Moon, Food Grinder, Pathwinder, Harbor Protector, Land Connector. Sparkling ring, eagle wing, book proper, sheet stopper. A rock is a rock, part of cliff, road, or sea. Now go and discover what else it can be. The end. All right. What a great book about rocks. And I actually do have a rock collection. Do you guys have a rock collection? There are plenty around out on our friendly streets of Gitmo. All right, friends. So for my next book, this is What Do Roots Do? So let's learn all about roots. And this book is by Kathleen Kudlinski. Here we go. What do roots do for their plants up above? They hold them up straight when the wind gives a shove. They hold them upright when the ground's on a slant. They hold them in place if you play on the plant. How else do they use this underground link? Plants are all thirsty. They use roots to drink. My friends see that? You see the roots underneath our beautiful flowers? The roots branch out small, then tinier still. Then teeny root hairs drink the thirsty plants fill. Roots suck water in, then they send it up high through tubes far too tiny to see with your eye. Water flows up through rootlets, then tap roots and trunk, then branches. You see that, friends? And twigs until each leaf's drunk all the water it needs. 
And then way up there, the rest blows away on a breeze in the air. Palm, pine, or maple, it always is true, half of the tree will be hidden from you. So a lot of times we'll see this part of the tree, but half the tree is still all the way underground. And so no matter if it's a palm tree, or a pine tree, or even a maple tree. Shadowed by green treetops, green ferns, and moss grow, so do their roots in the darkness below. In sunny yards full of grass, weeds, and clover, you could see all the roots if you turned the dirt over. But you wouldn't do that. It wouldn't be wise. When you break off its roots, a plant often dies. Your garden is brightest and makes the most flowers when the roots have been watered by a hose or by showers. Food grows in the garden in vegetable row. Some ripens in sunshine, but some hides below. Carrot and radish, potato and beet, the underground root is a part that we eat. So do my friends see this? The root, that's what you eat. So we have potatoes, and we have carrots, and we have beets, and we have radishes. So that's the yum, yum foods that we eat. The roots of a cactus spread far to the sides or reach deep in soil for water that hides. And even in ponds, water lilies have found the best way to grow is with roots in the ground. So, under each tree is a tree made of roots and under each rose and beneath bamboo shoots, wherever you look at a plant, short or tall, remember you don't see the whole thing at all. The end. What a great story about roots. Okay, so let's finish up. So our first book was about rocks. Our second book was about roots. And our final book is all about the water cycle. And this is called Water is Water by Miranda Paul. Here we go. Drip, sip, pour me a cup. Water is water unless it heats up. Whirl, swirl, watch it curl. Bye. Steam is steam unless it cools high. A dragon in a wagon, a crow kneading dough. Clouds are clouds unless they form low. Misty twisty, where is the town? Fog is fog unless it falls down. Patter splatter. What is that sound? Rain is rain unless it's on the ground. Slosh and galoshes. Splash to your knees. Puddles are puddles unless puddles freeze. Glide, slide, put on the brakes. Ice is ice unless it forms flakes. Pat, stack, shape it in. Smack. Snow is snow unless spring comes back. Creep, seat, squish in your boots. Mud is mud unless there are roots. Swig, Grow big, reach for the best. Apples are apples unless they are pressed. Drip, sip, 
pour me a cup cider is cider until we drink up the and what a great book thank you for sharing the special reading time with me friends i hope you have an amazing day bye bye